Hey, what's up? It's your girl New Beginnings with another one about how not to lose $200,000. There comes a point in time where we all gain a lump sum of money at one time. It could be a lawsuit, an accident, death benefits, refinancing your house for cash, <laughs> all different types of ways. But some point in your time, it's going to be a time where you come in to a lump sum of money. And I just want to, so the topic of today is how not to lose $200,000. A lot of times we end up BMFing, blowing money fast. Money comes, money goes. So the topic today is how not to lose $200,000. Numero uno. Number one. Never listen to someone that says, I can flip your money quick. All of a sudden, everyone knows how to flip your $200,000. Well, where were they when you want to flip 10 and then 20 into 40 and so forth? If they could do that, then they'd be rich themselves because they could flip dollars all day. You ever heard the saying? You could turn a dollar into two, two into four, such and so forth. You'd be rich. So if somebody can do it so easily, they should be wealthy, right? But when you get your lump sum of money, now everyone is financial special. Don't do it. Secondly, there are these guys that know secrets all of a sudden. The secret that they're hiding from you. And if you got to pay a fee to get to the secret, it's usually not even worth it because if it was such a secret they wouldn't be selling it to everybody usually it's people that just openly tell you a secret or you're just in the in crowd next if anyone mentions to you penny stocks run okay so penny stocks is usually say you have a hundred thousand dollars right you put it on one concentrated stock I'm going to round it off so that it makes it easier to count this math right now. So say there's a stock that's a dollar. Now it's a new company, up and coming company. Stay away from these words, by the way. So we got this brand new company. It's the next Tesla. <laughs> We've all heard that before. The trouble with these no name, secret, hit or miss. So let's say you put $10,000 on a $1 stock, right? Now, if it goes up a dollar, you get an extra $10,000. Yes, that's also flipping it, but we want to stocks now because that's the hot thing. And people think that they could make money on it. You can, if you know what you're doing. But these are the ones you kind of want to shy away from. So you put it on this stock. And maybe it goes up 50 cents. If it goes up 50 cents, that's about $5,000 because half of 10,000 is 5,000. And you know, it might go there, right? <laughs> Usually people don't wanna pull out, but then when people start making money, they get excited and they pull out and you get stuck holding the bag and it goes down to 10 cents. 10 cents, you just lost pretty much all your money. Because the thing, what these stocks that might be up and coming, it's about a 90% chance that it doesn't make it. You know how many startup companies there are, how many people want to be the next one. And it's usually one company that makes it through the top. And that's why people scatter their money all over the place and then they're in the lucky one. You just never know which one is going to be the lucky one. My advice, I'm not a financial advisor, is that you wait for low, 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 extremely low bottom out days and you invest in some money with the good boys like the Google, the Apple, Something you spend your money on every day. Uh, here's another package, Amazon. You want those Teflon Dons. Anyway, 
that's my synopsis on how to not lose two hundred thousand dollars. Peace. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.